The dangerous cleanup work continues at the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The facility is still putting out radiation after being hit by a massive earthquake and tsunami in 2011. Well, Seth Doan got inside for a rare look. Inside the crippled nuclear station, scars from the tsunami and earthquake are still evident nearly three years later. We were granted rare access because TEPCO, the company that owns the plant, wanted to highlight its progress here after years of criticism. Before we were allowed in, we were checked for baseline radiation levels, then driven past checkpoints that limit access. Even miles from the plant, radiation levels still surpass 100 times what's normal. Finally, we suited up in protective gear for our carefully choreographed tour. This is the reinforced structure that was built around Reactor 4. The reactor was not in use at the time of the disaster, but a hydrogen explosion blew off its roof and sent debris flying into this pool filled with nuclear fuel. It's here where TEPCO removed debris and is now starting to slowly retrieve the 1,500 fuel rod assemblies stored in this pool. It's a painstaking process that's essential to shuttering the reactor. All of this work is taking place underwater because the water acts as a shield for the radioactivity. Hitashi Hara was working at this plant when the earthquake struck. TEPCO has been criticized right along that it's not able to handle this cleanup work. Do you feel that, that TEPCO is equipped to do this? We've installed new equipment, he told us. Our mission is to do this right. For as complicated as that mission is inside Reactor 4, it's nothing compared to what lies ahead in the three melted down reactors, which are still so radioactive that the technology to retrieve that fuel has not yet been developed. To try to keep the reactors cool, every day TEPCO injects 400 tons of water into them. But that contaminated water mixes with groundwater that leaks into the reactors. This was once all thick forest behind me surrounding the plant. That forest has been chopped down to make way for these blue tanks to store the contaminated water. Before being escorted out, we were checked for radiation levels, just like the 4,300 decontamination workers who go through this every weekday. Decommissioning this plant is work that'll likely stretch on for 40 years. For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan, Japan.